The Warriors, they came out of the blocks firing this afternoon with their rookie 5'8", Reese Walsh, a real danger, but they had to hold off a fast-finishing Cowboys side, 24 points to 20. Greg Alexander said in the call, uh, how could the Broncos let young Reese Walsh go? Just his second game of first grade, Braithen. There's a lot to like. Yeah, I don't know how they let him go. I mean, I've only seen him the last couple of weeks, although a lot of people have had their eyes on him for a long time. I know, Mick, you've, you've, you've seen him before. And Corey Parker coached him as well up in Queensland at the Broncos and possibly in the Queensland side. But he looks like he's got a lot of time. He's got great footwork. He glides across the field. He's electric. Uh, the, the way the Warriors started this game, it was fast. It was precise. It was full of energy. They just cut the opposition, the cows, to pieces. Mm. It, was, it was a really, really mm. um, direct uh, start of the game. The Cowboys just couldn't handle the speed. Mm. It surprised me a little bit. I thought the Cows, after the three wins in a mm. row, Tao Malolo back, that they may shock the Warriors and, and, and blow them off the park. But it was the other way around. And off the, I mean, Walsh was amazing. Yeah. Uh, Nick Arima, fantastic as well. Their combination was, they complemented each other and they let two of us just, two of us and Sheck just do his own thing at the back. Mm. But uh, he's, he's, a, he's a great player. We've got some good players at the well, moment, some good young players. Nathan Brown said during the week that he wouldn't play him at fullback because he still needed six weeks or so to, to really find that development at, at, in the fullback position. But didn't drop him. Put him in the front line at 5'8". Mm -hmm. Showed great confidence in him. And I thought today, even in the second half, no second half points at all for the Warriors, but he continued to go after the contest. And he made a number of line breaks. He threatened every time he uh, carried the footy. And, and you're right. I mean, I, I watched him as a kid, and like particularly through his teenage years and Far out. I, I, it astounds me that they let him go. Like it's, yeah. it's a further crazy. indictment on the recruitment mm. power brokers at Brisbane that it's not only him, it's Sam Walker. He was there too. As well. Right? Like the way that Sam Walker has absolutely shot the lights out yeah. since he's burst onto the scene. He's played five games yeah. and he's already leading the NRL in terms of try assists and line break assists. It's off the chart stuff. So I don't know how the Broncos... Yep. Letting was Walsh and Sam half partners in like, Queensland teams? And is, is Walsh it, they... came off the bench for uh, the Queensland side, but uh, you know, had, obviously had um, you know, Sammy Walker in the halves, and then yeah. the fullback was Hamaso Tabio okay. Fido, and they had Coates and Tessie New and those sort of guys in their side. So he came off the interchange bench yeah, and just right. lit the game up. But I, I spoke to people at Brisbane last year, and I know Brisbane were going ordinary last year, but as a 17 year old at training, he was carving them to pieces. He was carving them yeah. to pieces. The only concern was, could he handle the physicality of first grade? Mm. Gus Gould's seen that a mile away. He said, mm. absolutely he can. Thrown him in the deep end, oh. threw him down into Amy Park, in, in, yeah, into the yeah, furnace, a, and he's no yeah. drama. And when Nathan Brown's asked about picking up Walsh from the Broncos after the game, it sounds he sounds like he's won the lottery when he speaks about it. <laughs> well, he yeah, yeah. Blake in yeah, the, the same thing. department. Like, same incredible pickups. Yeah, he incredible said pick he's a very talented and confident guy. He actually likened him to Sam Walker and said, right. as a coach, I've just got to sit back and let him do his thing. I don't want to overcomplicate it or stuff it up. Mm. you just got to let him play the game. All right, let's hear from the Warriors skipper on that man. Uh, he will speak about him. Uh, he's with Jake Duke. Roger Tuvasa-Shek, how big was that result for the team? Yeah, that was a good result, you know, especially of the last week's game. It was good to bounce back, get the two points and celebrate that moment for young Nidhi Kossi and on his debut. A bit of a concern, but that you let them back into the game. You had such a significant lead at halftime. Yeah, definitely. You know, we're pretty gutsy that we finished that way. I thought first half we laid the blueprint on how we should play and uh, we came back. We didn't start as well as we wanted to and I don't know, it felt like we were panicking and we just lost a few errors there and we're on the back foot. What about moving back to fullback? Do you feel more comfortable back there this week? I know it looked like you were a bit frustrated out in the wing last week, trying to yell across the field a little bit. Do you feel better being back at your home? Yeah, definitely more comfortable at the back there. been playing there for a few years, but like I said, you know, there's a young kid there that's, that's going to be learning the trade, so as much as I can, I'm helping him out and, and supporting him where I can. Reese Walsh, you're talking about special kid. Yep. Uh, how, how does he, like, uh, as a mover yourself, like, how do you rate him as a guy that can just do anything on a football field? Yeah, he's awesome. You know, he's lightning. He's, he's got lots of energy. I think the best thing about him is that he's confident and he's real keen to, to learn and play well. And, you know, he's just turning up in good spots and, yeah, lucky to have their speed and wish they had their back when I was playing. Uh, you had it in spades, mate. Congratulations on another win today. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, and what a way to, I guess get into first grade, having someone like Roger just for the last few months yeah. before he heads off to uh, Super, to Rugby Union.